This method can assist us answer key questions in the fields of flow liquid films, thin films, droplet impact, uh, with regards to the evolution dynamics of waves, the breakup and the coalescence of droplets, and also in granular jets. So the main advantages of this technique is that it provides an avenue for us to study very thoroughly short time scale phenomena. To begin the procedure, clean the flat glass substrate with a soft cloth so that all dirt and particulate matter is removed from the surface of the substrate. Set the pivot of the substrate to the desired inclination angle. Fill the reservoir with a test liquid, such as deionized water. Start the fluid pump and confirm that the liquid flows normally across the entire substrate surface. Check the flow rate reading on the flow meter and gradually adjust the direct flow valve to attain the desired flow rate. Then, to avoid a hydraulic jump at the film inlet or a backflow of air into the distribution chamber, adjust the knife edge of the distribution chamber to set the gap height at the film head to the precise Nusselt film thickness value for the flow rate. Manually siphon the air from the distribution chamber to ensure a normal, uniform liquid flow across the entire substrate. Next, confirm that the function generator is connected to the solenoid valve in the liquid flow path through a non-latching relay. Then, turn on the function generator and the solenoid valve. Set the function generator to the desired forcing frequency and waveform. Then, fill a syringe with the desired test liquid, such as deionized water. Connect clean plastic tubing to the syringe and mount the syringe in the droplet generator assembly. Connect